Okay, so in today's video, we have a product right here to be reviewing. And well, what is it? Well, let's open up right here. And yes, this product does come included with this nice carrying case right here. So this is going to be called the B-Link Expand M. And it is a Type-C USB docking device for laptops, tablets, or even USB-C phones. And well, what separates this from other USB-C docking stations? Well, it comes pre-included with an M.2 SSD inside of it and when you connect this to your laptop you can use this as external storage to store files to store video files to store whatever you want and we have this nice button right here that turns off the M.2 SSD when you don't want it and when you want it you can turn it on and well why is this useful well sometimes you don't want your um hard drive to be pulling power from your laptop so you can turn it off right here and you won't be using any of it and you have a nice light indicator right here so yeah let's talk about the ports that come included on the Beeling Expand M so right here we're going to have two USB 3.0 ports and the maximum speed of both of these is going to be 107 megabits per second and I mean it's okay Right here, we're going to have a type C port for charging and it's going to support up to 100 watts of charging. Pretty good. And the internal SSD in here supports up to 440 megabits per second and it supports up to four terabytes of storage in here. But my variant right here came pre-included with 512 gigabytes of storage, but you can buy smaller versions or you can even buy a version that's DIY for $40, which I think is pretty good value for this. And you can just add your own SSD whenever you like, or you don't even have to add an SSD if you don't want to. So it's pretty good. And I mean, we also have an HDMI port right here that supports up to 4K display. I don't know about the Hertz. I didn't test it or I didn't see anything about it on the website, but we do have that, which is useful. And you can see when I connect this to my MacBook, I get access to some more ports that I didn't have on my laptop and I get to use more storage with my device, which is really awesome. So let's go ahead and open up the SSD in here to see what type of SSD is included. And as you can see, the screws right here, they're not very common screws and in my case mine didn't come with any screws as you can see the unboxing right here was pretty simple so you everyone may not have a proper screwdriver i happen to have the screwdriver right here that does work with it but i know that could be an issue for some people especially if you're buying the diy version you may not be able to open it up without purchasing a separate screwdriver at least i don't think the diy comes with one but i could be wrong but yeah so let me go ahead open that up and then we'll see what is the the brand of the SSD in here because I personally don't even know yet. So I went ahead and I opened up the device right here and I pulled out the M.2 SSD but if you want to quick glance at what it looks like internally this is what it looks like and the M.2 SSC just slots in right here and then there's a screw place for it right here so it's fairly good and you know I mean there's not too much special and too much I can say about that it wasn't too hard to open it up when you have the correct screwdriver so that is one thing to keep in mind. But here is the M.2 SSC that comes in it. So right here, as you can see, it says M.2 512 gig, and it doesn't say any brand name or anything like that. So I can't really give much information about this SSD, but I did run speed tests on my MacBook. And keep in mind, this is gonna be the black magic design disk speed test but i got 304 megabits per second for write and then i got 337.8 megabits per second for read so it's a it's an okay device right here and it seems to work fairly well so i mean yeah it's cool that it comes pre-installed and i it's not some brand name thing but you know i mean it works and when you right click this on the device it says you have 510 gigabytes of storage which is what they advertise 512 gigabytes you never get the full disk space anyway so it's not too much to worry about as far as i'm concerned but of course i don't know too much but yeah so that is okay so for the next project i thought we'd put this back together and we'd plug this end or this end right here into my raspberry pi and see if we flashed raspberry pi os to that m.2 ssd if we could boot from it like this 
with M.2 SSD in here, booting all from it and see if that would work. I'm not sure if it would, but theoretically it would, and that would be pretty awesome to see what type of speeds we're getting as well. So let's try that out real fast. So now I have Raspberry Pi OS 64-bit flash to the internal SSD inside of here. Now I'm ready for the moment of truth. I'm going to plug it into my Raspberry Pi and try to boot it up. So what I was thinking is I have my Raspberry Pi right here and I was thinking to plug this into the USB-C port right here and then for power I'm going to be using the power right here this one so I'm going to take my Raspberry Pi's cable right here and just plug it straight into there and I'll see if it works and yeah so let's go over to the desktop and hope that it does work. So this is what I've kind of rigged up right here. So here's my Raspberry Pi. I have my dock connected to the USB-C port right here. And guys, I have to break to you. I couldn't get it to boot off of here. So I had no way to get the M.2 SSD to work with booting off of here. Maybe I was doing something wrong, but I'm just not exactly sure what I was doing wrong. I changed this many times and it wouldn't boot. So then I had an idea. I was like, well, I have my operating system on this drive right here right now. So I was like, well, why didn't I plug into this USB port right here and see if it will actually boot from there? And it wouldn't boot either. So I plugged it into the Raspberry Pi itself right here. I boot up my Raspberry Pi and I want to see if it would recognize the M.2 SSD inside of here. And as far as I can tell, it really doesn't. If I go over to my desktop right here, you can see that it doesn't seem to want to recognize it at all. So then I plugged in this USB cable right here that goes to my keyboard and my keyboard usually has RGB lighting and none of the lightings came on and my keyboard doesn't work at all. Like it's not giving input. So what I've concluded is I don't know if these ports are giving information to our Raspberry Pi or if this M.2 SSD is even going to work. So I thought that the Raspberry Pi did have OTG support, this USB-C port right here, but either it's this dock doesn't want to function with the Raspberry Pi or it's something else, but yeah. So we've come to the end of the video guys and I hope you found this tutorial or review helpful and if you have any questions about the device let me know in the comments below but yeah so this device cost me around well it was sent to me by the company a huge thank you to them for doing so but normally it costs around 110 dollars for the 512 gigabyte version but you can, you can pick up the diy version for just 40 bucks and throw in your own ssc that you might already have in your house so it's not the most expensive device and yeah so if you're planning on using this with a raspberry pi i would highly not recommend doing it as you saw for me it didn't work but maybe i was doing something wrong but i'm not sure about that but if you're going to be using this with a laptop it should function just correctly you'll have access to some more usb 3.0 ports hdmi ports and you'll have that built-in ssd which is really awesome so yeah i mean i hope you enjoyed the video and a subscribe would be incredible Thanks for watching.